Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Scrap Mechanic. I am, of course, the Conflict Nude, and this is my car. My car is also a plane. A plane that can't fly, but it's a plane, so it still counts. This was actually something that I was challenged to make uh, by someone on Twitter. I believe it was at somewhat eight, uh, the number there. And basically, I was like, yo, I'm going to play some scrap mechanic on the channel, and I would like you to challenge me uh, to build something. And it, he was the first person to tweet. I was like, build a car that has that's also a plane with retractable wings. So I did. And as you can see, there's the wings, which fold out. Uh, we have jets at the back, which are for a general bit of boosting. Uh, we have other jets as well, which are for more boosting. But if we turn those off, I can show you some little details that they do. We also have the ability to angle uh, some of the jet engines, and then the little uh, bits there in the wing as well can rotate as well. This is honestly something I spent like about an hour on, maybe an hour and a bit, an hour and a half or something, and I'm really happy with it. It's the first craft I've actually properly made. I made a little trike uh, at one point as well, which is alright, I might show you that at some point today, but... Well, I also made these as well. I will show you these, actually. It's my first, you know... It's my, my first episode of, uh, of doing stuff in Scrap Mechanic, so I might as well show you. Uh, what I will do, though, is just take something out of my hotbar so I don't have anything in my hand. Uh, so this was my, you know, sort of concept... Uh, unfinished concept, but a concept nonetheless. For a... basically a house that can completely fold away and open on one side. I know the opening on one side's a little bit unnecessary, but... All of these walls sort of fold away and go, uh, well, against the main walls, and then this one just opens up, which, I mean, it's not all that exciting, but it's, it's, it's cool nonetheless. This was, like, the first thing I made using the, whatever the walls they are called, the bearings, which we will get to, and I will explain how those work. This is just a door that, uh, opens up like that. You can't close it on the other side, but, uh, you know, it's just, again, another attempt at working with bearings. Uh, I will very quickly show you how bearings work. They're basically pivot points. Uh, so what you would do is you'd have a surface like this, for example, and say I want to make a door. So we'll have a, uh, a wall that comes up like this, and we'll have a wall that comes up like that. And uh, if I put a bearing there, and then I build off of it, uh, it needs to be the first, it needs to be the first point I click, so click on the bearing and drag. This is now a door, which, uh, I can't push with my, my face, but I can use a control block, which is this thing right here, so we'll just chuck it there. A control block combined with a switch, so what we'll want to do is get this tool. So, we can connect the control block to the bearing, then the switch to the control block, and then if we look here, we can see we've got blue, a, uh, a blue arrow and a red arrow. Blue is positive, red is negative. So in this case, I want the door to open that way. So we click on the control block and we want it to go negative 90 degrees because negative 90 degrees is it's currently facing this way, it will be facing that way. So if I then go ahead and press the button, the door will open. And uh, this is basically how I've created everything on this. So if you have a look here, uh, this is the way the wires are working for... Uh, this door. This is the wires for that door. I uh, will show you the wires for the little house as well. You can see there It's uh, one switch to all of those bearings uh, And by the way, I'll show you. I'm gonna try and do this without spoiling anything uh, You notice here There's all of these different uh, Sort of positions that I can change uh, Numbers in basically this is a sequence So the first thing that's gonna happen here is this column which is the first part of the sequence, which is that these three will rotate 90, uh, minus 90 first. So those are the three walls inside. Then these are the two uh, main walls on the exterior of the building. So it's those two uh, bearings there, those two sections of wall. So using that kind of thinking, I made uh, this, which, I mean, this is using more than just some bearings. There's connections to... Uh, from, from steering, those connections from the engine, uh, but there's a lot going on here. There's three control blocks back here, which do a bunch of different things. This first one is all for the wings. So that uh, swings the wings out and then tilts them. Uh, this control block, I, I think, 
is what is yes yeah, so that pivots the engines here so the four uh pivoting thrusters and then this control block is for uh something else as well i think that control block is for the little flaps and the wings so that's what those do there's also a control block at the front which is to give me access to my engines in case i want to change the amount of power that goes uh, or comes from those and then we have these switches which do various things they're all linked to the control block and then we have those linking to the seat which is how all of this works so i can press the switch like this to uh swing my wings out that got a little bit uh, glitchy there that's okay i can do that or i can get in here and press one so that's basically how that works and uh, that's how all of this works. There's a lot of different timings going on in this uh, for every little bit. I don't think there's all that many timings in this one. But yeah, there's there's a lot of timings on this. There's uh, different things going on. There's all the steering for the front wheels and then there's different things. The uh, suspension back here, for example, I have uh, decided is a little bit too uh, soft. So I put these blocks in here, which will collide with those ones, meaning the suspension can't completely compress but basically, uh, long story short, this took way too long to make for something that doesn't actually work the way it's supposed to. It was supposed to fly, and it doesn't. Also, what is up with those wings? Oh, there we go. They're being a little bit weird. They don't usually do that. I guess they're getting stage fright, but it's fine. It's, uh, it's completely fine. We'll go ahead and uh, tilt the engines there, and we'll bring the flaps up a little bit. I don't think this game actually has the physics to realize that those flaps should be creating a bit of lift, but well, that's fine. Same with the thrusters. I don't think the game is necessarily registering that those wings should be providing lift, but it's it's completely fine. Uh, we'll go ahead and turn on the initial boost thrusters and uh, gain some speed, and then we'll turn on all of the thrusters and see what happens. As you can see, it's not really lifting off. I mean, it, it sort of is. It tries. It gives it a good go, it just... It's not very successful. At all. It's it's kind of a waste of time, because it just it just doesn't work. Uh, let's go ahead and bring those up, and then just bring the flaps in a little bit. It's still completely usable as a vehicle, I will say. Like, it's, it's completely fine, it just doesn't fly. At all. Which is a bit of a shame. Although I'm very happy with it. I am, I think it looks great. Uh, what I will do is, I'll go ahead and show you the trike that I made. Well, I say it's a trike, it's technically a kind of reverse trike, but uh, this is in one of the... Uh, this is in the world that's uh, gener generated with the game. Uh, I also realize I've set this up wrong. This being the first thing I built, I... I sort of built it in an incorrect way, because I, I originally thought what you had to do was uh, switch on your engines separately from your steering. You don't actually have to do that. Also, I'm using an electric... Uh, engine in this. So what I can actually do is Oh, that's not good is uh, connect the engine to my Steering and what I've now created is something that I can control myself uh, without having to simply switch on the various uh, Parts I don't have to switch on the engine separately before getting into the vehicle or while I'm in the vehicle So that's uh, quite nice to have indeed. Let's just disconnect those switches I don't actually know what I could use these switches for now, because they actually serve no purpose. I guess, I mean, I, I'm i going to try and create something a little bit interesting here. Uh, I feel like the front of this, this uh, vehicle needs to be a little bit lower. So I think the way I'm going to do that is by... I'm going to go ahead and tear out uh, these... Okay, first thing I should probably do is put it up on a lift rather than doing it uh, without the lift. So what we'll do is, th this is the lift, I can uh, raise it, I can lower it. It's basically how you make a vehicle. So we'll go ahead and just get rid of all of this, uh, like so. Uh, we'll get rid of the various parts as well, just get rid of everything here. Uh, there we go. Some parts apparently don't want to uh, disappear, but that's completely fine. Uh, so, now we have the thing without any front wheels. What I will use is this short pipe as my initial kind of little thing that's going to stick out here. Uh, so, I want this to have a pivot point there, and a pivot point there. 
Then I'm gonna put these pipes on either side. And then I'm going to put the block that's gonna hold the suspension uh, on there. Now, what kind of suspension was I using? I think it was this one, wasn't it? So that's gonna go there and that's gonna go onto that block. So the suspension goes on there and then what we're gonna need to do is raise this up a little bit and put a block there and a block there. Uh, oh, this is actually a little bit tricky now that I think about it because the rotation is gonna be handled in a completely different way. Uh, let's just do a another pipe there and there so that I can get some uh, steering from these front wheels as well. Uh, I'm also gonna add a little bit of weight to the front actually, so I'm gonna use uh, metal blocks, which are significantly heavier than the uh, sort of warning blocks, whatever the hell those are called. What are they? Those are barrier blocks. So metal blocks are much heavier. Uh, let me just make sure I did put a bearing there and uh, put a bearing there as well and there. So now I just go ahead and put the wheels on, which is fine. And I probably want to lower this down and make all of the needed connections. So from the engine, we go to there. And we go to there, and we want to make sure they're spinning the right way, which they now are. Uh, we then want to connect the steering to those points. We will test that out in a little bit. And now we want to do now what we want to do. Let's try speaking correctly. Uh, that would probably be a good start. Uh, we want to go ahead and put in a control block, which is actually going to go right uh, there. But I want to sort of change the rotation to be like not like that, uh, to be like that. So that's going to be our control block, which is going to let me pivot uh, these front wheels forward a little bit. So uh, we're going to go positive. Uh, do I want to go positive? I don't think I do. I think I want to hold on. I need I need to work out the way this is going to rotate. Uh, so that one's going to be negative. That's going to be positive on both sides, right? Yeah. So they're both going to be positive, like thirty. I think. So if we go to here and do positive 30 on both sides, and then we add a switch. Now, what is this? I guess the switch is actually, oh, well, we've got some of the sides already. So let's add a switch to there. That's going to be switch one, which is going to work with that. So now if I get rid of this, get in the vehicle and hit switch one. There we go. It lowers. And that works quite nicely. I can raise it up if I need to, but I can, uh, I would much rather keep it. Kind of lower. That's nice. That's that's pretty good. But I think I want to tweak it a little bit more. I think I want it to be minus, uh, positive 45 rather than 30. Uh, and we're going to make that a nice slow transition there. So, yeah, that's better. That's it actually nice and level as well. So that's perfect. So if I hit one, they're going to raise up very slowly. And then if I hit one again, they are going to go back down to the level that they should be. They're also rotating the wrong way, so let me just tweak that. It is going to make steering a little bit difficult, though, I realize, because those are the wheels that steer. Uh, but it seems to be all right. It's it's definitely working. If I want to do some uh, more intensive steering, I can just raise the wheels back up, which I can do while driving. And uh, they'll go vertical, and the steering goes back to normal. So that's definitely interesting. But I think what I also want to do is just up the speed a little bit. Uh, so here we go. Okay, that's a bit too fast. Let's maybe lower that just a tiny bit to about there, and we should be okay. That's better. So there we go. That's uh, that's my little trike thing, which I'm super happy with, honestly. it's I, I like my modification to it. We've also got a duck there on it, as you can see. Uh, let's just go into first person while we're using this, because you can see the little duck there. He's just okay. Well, that happens. Uh, all you need to do there is just reset the craft and get rid of the lift and... Uh, we can uh, be on our way again. So let's just bring it back a little bit. I probably want to... Okay. <laughs> okay, I think what I'll do is maybe just go ahead and make the engine a little bit uh, weaker again. To about there should be good. Then if we slowly come back and we just want to rotate like this. Come on, just, just like this. Okay. And then just lower the wheels. Okay, lower, lower the wheels down. I would love to be able to um, stop this thing from rolling, but it's it's a bit of a pain. I mean, I guess really... Hold on, we'll make a quick modification to this, and I think we'll probably be... Okay, it's going to need to go like there, uh, because it's sort of facing the wrong way. If we were to um, sort of lower the 
the center of gravity by adding a lot of weight to this. I mean, we it, it would, in theory, be okay. But the problem is, uh, obviously, there is... Uh, well, there's, there's not a lot of... Uh, I, I need to not put weight in the top of it, basically. So putting a bit of weight there, and uh, possibly putting a little bit of weight there. And can I do it there as well? I'm trying to not have anything fall off of my craft. That's kind of my worry at the moment. Uh, if I do this wrong, something's going to fall off, and I need to try and avoid that. Uh, so there's a bunch of weight in the bottom, which is what we want. Uh, I don't think I, I don't think I want to put any weight higher up. That is that is going to work as weight. That's uh, what we want to see. Is there anything else I could use to sort of decorate the front a little bit? I could probably use this. It is a table support, but it looks pretty good in there, and it actually goes quite nicely with the uh, with with the uh, bolts that we have there. So that's not so bad. That is, uh, that is not so, not so bad at all. Can I, probably can't add those back there. Doesn't seem like there's really anything else I can do to this for, uh, decoration purposes. So I think we're probably good. I think I might turn my duck around, though. Just because he, you know, he needs a good view of, uh, my face. You know, I guess, in a way, you could say this craft has everything but the kitchen sink. But that would be a lie, because it does, in fact, have the kitchen sink right here at the front. Uh, that's not going to be sticking around, uh, but that's fine. It's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and just turn this around and then lower the wheels down and see if we can get up a decent little bit of speed. I'm actually super happy with how that looks when the, uh, the wheels go down. The turning is terrible when I do that, which is kind of the downside, but uh, that is still, it's still really satisfying to see because it just looks cool. It, just, it still works, you know? It still does its thing, although I'm kind of wanting to, um, maybe go ahead and add a, a regular engine, a gas engine, rather than the electric one. Because I feel like it's more satisfying to hear an engine running rather than the sort of whine of the electric one. Oh, this is much faster, and sounds better, and it probably helps that I've made the back wheel pirate as well. It wasn't previously, or at least I don't think it was. Uh, but whatever the case, it now has, uh, a bit of drive to it as well, so... It's uh, a three-wheel... Okay, it's flipping over. It is a three-wheel drive craft that really doesn't want to stay upright. Uh, so that's just great. Let's uh, maybe take power from the back wheel again, because I don't think that's necessarily helping. Or maybe, maybe we should add it to just the back wheel. That could be an idea. Uh, because that way, you know, these ones are for steering, that one's for power. So we can see if that helps. It might, it might not. Uh, I mean, it's... It's doing all right. It's, I mean, the craft is absolutely still wanting to flip, but that's going to happen with anything that's really thin like this in uh, scrap mechanics. So this is actually, I'm actually very much okay with this. It's a nice little craft. It's working. I have a cool thing for the front wheels where I can raise and lower them where necessary. So say I'm going over rough terrain, I can uh, bring them up like this and give myself a little bit more height. Uh, but I'm quite pleased with this, honestly. I think... I might leave it there for today, honestly, because I've said honestly way too many bloody times. Uh, but yes, I think I will leave it there for today. Because, you know, I've showed you roughly how the game works. I've showed you two things I've made. So it seems only fair that it's now your job to do something. And your job is going to be to give me things to build. Leave it in the comments below. Leave your suggestions for what you'd like to see me build in Scrap Mechanic. Because building the car-airplane combo, even though it didn't fly, was a hell of a lot of fun. And this game is basically going to be taking over the Saturday and Sunday slots that uh, Fallout was taking. So every Saturday and Sunday at 4, four o'clock uh, UK time will be Scrap Mechanic for the next little while. And uh, I reckon we can make some cool things. I reckon we can... Uh, see whether or not they're successful and uh, have a grand old time doing it so leave your suggestions for builds in the comments below and we can see what we can pick out for some builds next week and i guess every weekend after that for the next little while anyway folks like i said that's going to be it for today so thank you kindly for watching i've been the conflict nerd and i will see you next week i suppose Bye bye